Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to do a quick POV drive on the E36 M3. Perfect. Perfect. I know this is a long overdue video since I bought the car a few months ago, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, so the engine's a bit warm now because I had to drive to this little park location close to the house. So now I fix the cameras and let's go ahead and take Kit on a quick drive around the block. Oh yeah. Hopefully you will be able to hear the exhaust with the way I set up the camera. I don't have any camera on the back just because I don't have a wireless mic but I'm gonna try my best to get some good sound clips for you guys before the end of the video All right. the engine is already warm so let's do like a quick acceleration for you that the windows were down so if you heard a lot of wind noise that's because the windows were rolled down as you know I don't have AC in the car so I always drive with the windows down that let me enjoy the glorious sound of that UC Corsa exhaust so right now I'm just cruising on fifth gear and the car is, is pretty cool it's pretty cool I love it alright so let's do a good uh, you know around town driving where i don't really press on the gas that much just a normal regular driving let's try to do that so that you can see how the car normally operates when you are not pushing it i'm not sure if you can hear that little whiny sound since i installed the engine mount I changed the engine mount to the 95D rev shift one. I have this little noise that it is. I'm actually, I love the noise. It's, it's like a race car type of noise. And I dig it, I dig it. Now, the transmission mount and the engine mount that I place here didn't really bring a lot of vibration because the way the transmit, the way the suspension were before, it was already vibrating a lot. So I got used to little vibration. So now I don't really see any difference. Now, but if I had this car when it was brand new, probably I would feel a little difference in terms of, you know, noise and vibration and things like that. But so far, I'm, that's the way it used to be. It, nothing really changed. It's just that everything seems firm right now. When you drive around town, it's it's normal. It's it's normal. The suspension, since I, I don't want to say I've upgraded, since I kind of did a little uh, bootleg version of suspension here, it's pretty cool, it's a little stiffer than the soft ride that used to be factory, it used to be what I had on this car and it's also still bouncy, definitely when you get to a little butthole you feel it you know, every now and then you will see me like go like this, that's because of the suspension it's not me trying to do anything extra it's a nice experience, you can easily downshift and make that engine scream this is a high revving engine so meaning that all the power, most of the power is in high end torque. So if you drive around 2, 3 RPMs, 3000 RPMs, you are not going to get a lot of the power. I mean the power will be there, but most power start coming around 4 to 5 RPMs. So when this engine has to really produce a lot of the power, it needs to be screaming. That's just how it is. So if you want to go and downshift, Turn here. 
nice. I love this, man. Oh, when you accelerate with this car, oh man, the reward is just glorious. Oh, it is so lovely. Sport button, traction control off. There's none of that here, okay? You don't have any of that nonsense. You can, can you can take away the traction control by pressing the ASC button and, man, and holding it for like five to ten seconds. But because I have ESC light right here, I cannot do that. So no burnout for me. But I'm gonna act like I was doing it, okay? ASC button, sport mode, which is always on sport mode since there's no sport button. First gear, I'm revving to like too high. I'm moving to like 4,000 RPM and let's drop the clutch. Yeah, 
that was brutal but not as brutal as the F80 you, you heard the wheel spinning on the back and I did go to second gear a little late because somehow I was trying to continue to spin the tires let's say so that I can maybe have some kind of smoke in the back and then I did read the red line the engine and act like it was trying to shut down on me so I had to shift to second gear once I did that everything went back to normal so because there is a little event here in this park probably the cops gonna be around so I don't want to be in this road doing this type of nonsense I don't want any tickets or anything like that right but uh, I'm gonna set up my camera maybe right somewhere right there and then do a some rolling shots for you guys okay let me do that Alright guys, it started raining so I had to run away and um, I hope you enjoyed the rolling shots. As you can see, it's a lot of fun. It's loud, not too crazy loud, but it's good loud, right? And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. You enjoyed me having fun with the car about, you know, the back road in my neighborhood. So uh, I'm going to make a proper video where I show you things that I like and things that I don't like about this car. And so yeah, that video should be coming soon, probably next week. Now. On this note, see you on the next one. And thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you do. Okay, please. That will help me a lot. That will help me grow. And when I grow, excellent content again. We are going to uh, follow also. Yeah, that's it, man. See you on the next one. Bye.